What a beautiful morning. What a beautiful morning. What a beautiful morning it is. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. A beautiful morning. God bless each and every one out there this morning. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. May the Lord bless you and shine his face upon you. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to tell you today that you must have a personal relationship with God. If you don't have a personal relationship with God today, today could be your last chance to ever have that chance to have that relationship. And I want to tell you what, a, what that relationship means. It means everything for you. You understand when you have a personal relationship with God, you got the father, the creator, the almighty on your side. Not only that, but you have eternal life. You know, I, I want to tell you something in this world. We're, we're, this is a fallen world. And, you know, from the beginning, the, the world fell. And you say, why would it happen like that if God? Well, God created the way he created things. People had a choice and people made choices. And today you have a choice to have a relationship with God. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son into the world to save the world. You know, and, and and so they wouldn't perish, but have everlasting life. But I'm going to tell you something today. If if your life was, if your soul was required of you today, if this was your, if you went out there and you had a car wreck today and you're not right with God, you got to go before him and meet him either way. So if you make the choice now to get to know him in this lifetime, then you can avoid going to hell. Because once you get to hell, it says the fire quenches not. And 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 the worm dieth not. Do you understand? Once you get to hell, there's no exit. Once you get to hell, there's no stop, drop, and roll. You understand? There's no fire extinguisher to put that fire out. That's why we talk. Oh, you talk about hell all the time because I don't want you to go because it's real. It's so real. God loves you, so He's trying to save you from it. He wants a relationship with you so you can avoid going to hell. You know what hell is? It's separation from God. And it's forever torment by, by all these other things, other things that ain't of God. There's torment in that. You understand? We don't even know the weight and burdens we carry. I, before I got saved, I didn't even know the weight and the burdens I carried around. It was so much weight, I was so blind to it. I thought I was just running around, having my own company, balling, whatever. I thought I was just running around from club to club, doing what I wanted to, dressing how I wanted to. Just thought I was shining. You understand? <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something. I found out quick. You know, all that leads to misery. You know, it, it, it brings a short satisfaction. But I'm going to tell you something. The only thing that, 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 that that's going to get you saved. I wasn't saved. I was on my way to hell. Put it that way. That's the truth. I was on my way to hell. And then one day I fell on my knees. You know, I got to a point where I got I was ready to commit suicide. I was miserable. And I hit my knees one night and I just started calling on the name of Jesus. And I'm going to tell you something. I never knew I had that much weight. I didn't know I had that much cr that much crying to do inside of me as a man. I didn't know I could cry that much. I didn't know I was that big of a baby. You understand? But sometimes when you give your life, when you're ready to give yourself to Jesus, he takes all that weight, all that burden, uh, so much weight you don't even know we have. I'm going to tell you something. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you got so much weight on you and you need to lighten up. And the only way to lighten up is to ask Jesus into your heart, to pour your heart out to him. He said, all you who are weary and heavy laden, come to me and I will give you rest. But until you are prideless and you can open up your eyes, that pride is a lie from the devil. Until you become prideless and, or until you come to the end of yourself, you, you, most, of the time, most of the time people ain't going to see this. I had to come to the end of myself and it wasn't pretty. Because I want to tell you today, if, if you go out there and die and you don't have a relationship with God, you're going to hell. And it's not my fault. It's not my fault because I'm telling you, it's your fault because God has warned you and he's trying to give you a choice to choose him so he can save you. It says the devil come to steal, kill and destroy. Jesus came that we might have life and life more abundantly. Do you understand? Because he protects us in his power. His power protects us. It ain't that we're smarter than Satan. You, ain't, you can't use math problems to defeat Satan. So Satan is a power. He's the prince of the power of the air. You have no power over that. I have no power over that. I have Jesus Christ in me, but he that is in me is greater than he that's in the world. You understand? The power of God protects me. 
You're either under the power of Satan or you're under the power of God. One of the two. You can't be under both. You're under one or the two, one or the other. And the only way to get under the power of God is when you believe in Jesus Christ or you're under the power of Satan. You understand? You understand? And you don't know that because he's smarter than you. You're not smarter than Satan. I don't care how many books you read. He's ancient. <laughs> He, not, he knows all that kind of things. You understand? He's a spiritual being. He's an angel. He's a spiritual being. You understand? He, he's an angel of light. He looks beautiful. He makes everything look beautiful and he's ready to kill you. He hates you. He hates everybody. No matter if you choose him or not, he still hates you. <laughs> he don't like you. <laughs> You ain't, you ain't doing nothing for him. He's laughing at you. He's ready for you to go to hell with him. He knows his destiny is coming up. He knows he's going. He knows he's burning in hell. You understand? He knows what's going to happen to him. And each and every person that don't believe in him, I want to every each and every person that don't believe in Jesus. I want to tell you something. You cannot have a relationship with the Father God without Jesus Christ. There's no protection from Satan without the Lord Jesus. He came into this world to give us life. And when you give your heart to Jesus and you ask him to come into your heart and forgive you of your sins and you believe in your heart that he died on the cross to save us from our sins and God raised him from the dead. If you believe that in your heart today and you ask him to, to, to forgive you, I believe I confess I want you as my Lord and Savior, Lord. I need you as a Lord and Savior. I'm going to tell you something. You pour your heart out to him and believe those things and just give him your heart. I guarantee you God's going to come to you right now today and blow life into you and you'll have a new life. He'll give you resurrection power. The, re the same power that raised Jesus from the dead will come upon you and you will receive peace. You will receive joy. You will receive you will receive a, you will have an all because you'll know that Jesus is real. People wonder why we talk about Jesus so much and they sit there and try to tell us he's not real. And God came to us himself when we believed in him. How can you tell us someone ain't real that came to us himself the day we believed in him? <laughs> you know, how can someone how can someone tell us that Jesus ain't real when he when the day we believed in him, he came himself and, and, and gave us power and gave us rest. Exactly what he said in his word and gave us a, a, a relief. The day we believed in him, the power of God came to us so powerfully. How can you tell us that Jesus ain't real because you're blind? And it's hard to tell a blind man what color the, what, what, all right, say this for instance, a blind man born from birth, if he's blind from birth, guess what? I can tell him what color the green is all day long and he'll never comprehend the color. You understand? You understand? If you, if you were born blind from birth, 30 years, say 30 years blind. Guess what? And I, I told you about the color green. Guess what? Guess what you're going to do? Guess what you're going to do? You're going to you're going to you're not going to comprehend it because you, you've never been able to see. That's how it is when I tell you about the gospel. If God don't open your eyes to see the gospel, he has to open your eyes. And how do I get my eyes open? Well, it's called amazing grace. You have to believe in Jesus. You cannot please God without faith. And I want to tell you something. If you hear God speaking to you today and he wants a relationship with you today, the wages of sin or death. If you go before the, if you go, if you go before God today and you're not right with the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to tell you something that's between you and God. He wants to save you and he can save you and he will show you that the day you believe in Jesus Christ. But you have to ask him into your heart. He's not just going to he's not going to do that. He's a gentleman. So he sends his instruments out here to let you know that, that, that God loves you and he wants a relationship with you. It's not about me and you. It's about you and God. Do you have a personal relationship with the Father God? And you will know you do because because you will talk to him daily. You understand? You will know you do because his power will, will work in your life. Do you have that relationship with God? Well, the only way you can have it is in Jesus Christ. Without that relationship, that you will be forever separated from God. You understand? Without that relationship, there's a hell awaiting those who do not believe. You understand? For unbelievers. And I want to tell you today. That, that, that if you die today, this is up to you. You know, fear can be your friend in this case. I want to tell you today, if you died today and you don't have that relationship with God, this ain't about me and you. This is about you and God. If you don't have that relationship with you and God, you're going to hell. 
and you've been warned. You've been told there's no way out of hell once you get there. You have a choice today before you. And you're like, why do we only get a choice in this lifetime? Well, because God put us here in this life for to us so we can make the choice for whatever his creation is for. So we can tell other people about it. So we can come to know him. So we can come to heaven. You understand? He built humanity not to fall. We made a choice to fall. And therefore, everything behind it fell with it. You understand? Like dominoes. So now you have a choice today. So he sent his son into the world to save you. His name is Jesus Christ. And whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So he sent his son to save you because he knew that we can't save ourselves. You understand? You're not good enough. Sorry. We're not good enough. I'm not good enough. But Jesus was innocent. He was more precious than a than a than a brand new uh, just born baby. You understand? Because he was so pure and he was born from the Holy Spirit. You understand? In a Virgin Mary. He was born of God himself. You understand? And he was so precious. He was more precious than a pure baby baby just born you understand and he went to the cross and took that beating like a baby and he was like a baby but he was so pure and so true that he couldn't deny who he was he was so true he couldn't deny who he was you understand you understand you, you probably don't understand because god has to give you the understanding and without receiving jesus as your lord and savior you'll never be able to comprehend you'll never have the enlightenment to understand you'll never have the illumination to even read the bible and understand what it says you look in the bible for contradictions you look in the bible for to gain riches but i'm gonna tell you something that's gonna lead you to hell if you want to know the truth, you, you ask Jesus to, to come into your heart. He will enlighten you and you will know the truth. You read that word and you stay in that word. It says those who remain in my word are truly my disciples and they shall know the truth and the truth shall set them free. I want to tell you that today. I want to tell you that today. God loves each and every person out there, no matter who you are. God loves you. Glory to God. Praise the Lord Jesus. I want to tell you that, that, that God has a plan for you. And if you don't believe in him, I want to tell you today that, 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 that he loves you no matter what you say, no matter how you feel about it. But if you go and die today, this is between you and God, not between me and you. You understand? Not between you and your mama, not between you and your daddy, not between you and your Xbox 360, whatever you play. I don't know what you do. Harry Potter books, whatever you read. I don't know. You understand? I don't know what you do. I don't. It doesn't matter to me what you do. I just want to tell you what Jesus has done for me and what he, Jesus, can do for you. I can't do it. I can't open your eyes or I would say, poof, I can't put you in my pocket and take you to heaven with me. Or I would put you in my pocket and take you to heaven with me. There's many people I see lost all the time and want to put them in my pocket and just take them to heaven with me. But and it brings me to tears sometimes. And I got to go. I got to go pray to God and just let the Lord have it because God has to give it an increase. I can plant the seed. I can water it. But who am I? God has to give the increase. You understand? And they have to believe it. You have to you have to believe it. You have to believe in him. It's impossible to please God without faith. You have to ask him to come into your heart. Ask him to forgive you. We, we're set without Jesus. We cannot even God can't even look at us. He can't see sinners. So when he when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we're covered in his blood. Therefore, he sees Jesus. He don't see us. If he's seen us, he wouldn't even be able to look at us because we have we have sin on us. You understand? Jesus cleanses us from that, covers us in his blood. And as we read his word, he helps us to grow from that. He gives us the power to overcome the ungodliness and that sinful nature. It's still in there. It's still in there. We're warring with it. But God gives us the power to rise above it. He redeems our soul above it. You understand? That's what Jesus does. And we have the power to turn from it. You understand? We have the power to overcome it because it's the Jesus in us. And I want to tell you that today. God bless each and every one today. May the Lord bless and shine his face upon each and every person watching and hearing today. May the Lord shine his face upon you. I pray that he leads you down the path of life and heal. I pray he leads you to the right places. I pray he blesses you with, the, with all the spiritual understanding and grace and peace and joy and, 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 and meat from heaven. <laughs> that, 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 that he can give you that he that is already that is already awaiting for you and brothers and sisters if you're watching today i want to tell you don't get weary and well doing 
because you don't see some results, despise not small beginnings. Because you don't see things happen right away, let me tell you something. Just keep doing right. Keep reading the word. Keep trusting the Lord. Keep praying for them out there. Keep praying for the ones that God has having put on your heart to help. You understand? If you're having a hard time around unbelievers and they're persecuting you, I want to tell you something. Just keep praying. Stay in prayer. God will deliver you. God will make a way. God will get you through. He will give you the power to overcome it. You hear me, my brothers and sisters? He loves us so much. He said he will deliver us from all evil. No evil shall befall us. He will not sleep nor slumber. He will deliver us. You understand? We got a place in heaven and the sufferings of this moment they're not even worthy to be compared to the glory that's going to be revealed in Christ Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God today. May the Lord bless each and every person. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. You know exactly what each and every person needs, Father God. We pray for healing in their life. We pray that you manifest glory and healing in their life, Lord Jesus. Bring spiritual blessings in abundance in Jesus' holy name. I pray for their families, Lord God, their lost ones, their lost loved ones, Lord God, that you may move in them so effectively that they may shine a light to them and they may see it and come home to you Jesus in Jesus name for you wish you don't wish for no man to perish but for all to come to repentance Father God use us as vessels in your mighty kingdom we might be little vessels but we sure are in a mighty kingdom because it's God Almighty's in Jesus name hallelujah praise God the kingdom of God Almighty hallelujah we might be little bitty vessels but I'm gonna tell you something we sure are in a mighty kingdom he created the world he created the universe he created all things if God be for us what can be against us that's what it says in there what really can be against us hey Judas was of Satan guess what he did guess what happened to him he was still part of God's plan even though he chose Satan even though you might choose Satan even though you might not choose God, you're still going to be a part of God's plan. You understand? God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God today. May the Lord bless you and shine his face upon you. I just hope you're on the right side of the fence because guess what? If you're not right with God, it's between you and God. It's between you and God. He'll show you himself when you believe in Jesus. He'll come to you himself. I don't have to prove it to you. He'll prove it to you. Hallelujah. He'll give you all the evidence you need the day you believe in Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's between you, your own salvation and God himself. I told you what he's done for me, and he can do the same for anyone because he says he will. God bless you. Jesus is the way.